Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Oops. I was going to say, um, it feels like we've been talking to you all day, but you're just seeing us for the first time today right now. But we... If these outfits look familiar. If you remember the Tuesday video, if you watched it, we did a day in the life. Mm -hmm. And so we filmed throughout the entire day. And this filming is taking part on that exact same day at around like 3 p.m. So it feels like we've been like on camera and filming all day long. Because we have... You Even have. though you're just seeing us for the first time. So hello on a new day on Hi. Thursday. Hope you enjoyed my day. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed our thrift with us. I know at the end of that video, there were a couple bins clips. Mm -hmm. This bins haul that you are viewing and partaking in right now is not from that bins trip. So if there's anything interesting or really good or weird or whatever that you may have seen in that, that's not in here. This is from last Monday. Wednesday. This is from about Wednesday. a week ago. Mm -hmm. So this haul is like an interesting one. This yeah. is not a luxury haul, but this there are definitely some pieces that I'm very excited about mm -hmm. that are worth a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. This is like a very, I feel like, heavier than usual mix of like Y2K and like Yeah, it's not funky. all just kind of like stuff that you would think that we'd pick up. It's kind of like we went outside of the box. <laughs> Which we probably gave off that vibe with the thumbnail. That was an interesting thumbnail. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, there are definitely some things that are like designer or really good in mm -hmm. here. But like there's a lot heavier amount of like Y2K and weird. Yes. Which for me is really strange. But for Ryan, isn't as odd, I guess. No, I pick it up a lot. But I guess we're just full force into Depop going at it right now. Yeah. But like I said, I made two Depop sales last week. So I feel so like a full-blown Depop sale a couple right? days ago. Yeah. Love it. So I suppose, as usual, we will start with, like, the things and shoes. And then we will jump into the actual regular clothing. And as usual, I will start. And as usual, then we'll go five, 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 five. So five, five, if five, you're five, not five, new five, here, five, you know five, how it works. Five, 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 five. I will jump into it. And my first item is definitely not a Y2K or whatever thing. This is like an actual designer <laughs> item that I'm super, super excited about. This is a Croc leather clutch. Well, Croc embossed. And this is by Claire V., which I have never found, but a lot of you probably know Claire V is a total She's bolo. Amazing. And if you don't, take out the bolo notebook and write down Claire V because it is a definite bolo. Here is the other label. And this thing is literally in like new condition. Claire V stuff is super expensive. Like this clutch, I think, retailed at like $248. So that's pretty crazy for a clutch. She uses super nice leathers mm -hmm. and it's just like really good quality. And people are like stands of Claire People v. love the Claire V people stuff. People really love Claire V. People love. So I was really excited about that. And that was like after a long time after a rotation. So people probably just don't know what Claire V is. So now you guys do. So you don't skip it. No. <laughs> then I have another bag. A and little this, bag. This little bag is, you might know from looking at it, but it's this, so cute, though. This little bag is one I've had before, and it's by J. Crew. So I feel like Madewell has that one like leather satchel that everyone has seen. And oh everyone yeah, knows. that top handle. And bag. then J. Crew has this. So because everyone I feel like has seen or knows this J. Crew bag, but yeah, it's like the little camera bag. It's kind of a staple, kind of a classic. It's in really good shape. Mm -hmm. There's like some very light possible like wear there, but not really much. And then the inside is like super clean too. And Goodwill had priced it at 15 and that's why I made it here. It's also rare that you'd find the keys with it. I know. That's shockingly. pretty exciting. Then, a Y2K item. Oh, Lord. So I like to always get berets. I think we all know that at this point. Mm -hmm. But this is like a Y2K beret. Or like a scene. Or like a street. Street kid. A scene beret. Punk oh, kid so beret. Funny to me. So it's like pierced. Like it looks like it has piercings. Little like rings. I think it is wool. It mm -hmm. at least has wool in it, but it feels like it's 100% wool. Even H&M makes them 100% wool, so I'm sure it is. But I think that'll do good on Depop or Poshmark. I think it'll do good on Depop. Then this... Um, <laughs> is, I thought it was kind of like... it's n Okay. <laughs> so it's not the brand you would expect. Like, if you go down in the comments, you can type your guess of what brand you think this is. I don't never, know what I would think this Never is. in a million years would you guess. Like, I'd guess, like, maybe J. Crew. I would think, like, Pugs, that brand that sells, like, sunglasses at the gas station. Possibly Madewell. But this is actually Athleta. 
And so, I mean, obviously it's really good for the summer and spring because it's mm -hmm. like a paper brimmed hat, but it almost gives me Y2K vibes also because of these little like beads and gems that are on the like leather yarn strap going around it. I don't know. And it's also weird because like it has this wire band going all around. So like I can like violently bend it and it'll like hold its shape. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Then another accessory. This is a vintage accessory and this is actually sold. It's sold extremely quick. It is a vintage bolo tie. Bolero. Bolo. Is it a bolo tie? Yes, it is a bolo tie. Oh, it's a bolero you jacket. Think you're so smart. Correcting me and you're wrong. <laughs> it's a bolero jacket. And it has okay. like probably faux turquoise in it. It's Love really turquoise. cute. And some guy bought it full price. So that'll be in What's Old Sadie Day this week. Is it silver? Then, ooh, then we have a pair of mm. Seychelles we love boots. A Seychelles. And these are just like metallic, kind of like gold, silver boots. I've seen these before. I don't remember what the style name is, but these are size 10. And I think Anthro sold these. I haven't looked it up, but they're really nice. <gasps> This town's only big enough for the, for the, the two of, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. I don't think anyone wants to go to a town with you in it when you look like that. So. I feel like I look like young Doug Dimmadome. On with the Dimmadale Dimmadome. Before he was young with the Dimmadale Dimmadome. So why are we? I feel like I'm one of those characters from like a Wild West roller coaster. I feel like you just look very confused. Like a wooden roller coaster. They're like, hey, buccaneer, keep your kids and arms and legs in the car at all times. Thanks. <laughs> The wild, wild west can be a dangerous place, especially <laughs> for like, your kids' limbs. You're slamming your arms outside of the road. Look, I'm just Anyway, okay. So first up for me, pair of shoes. So this is a new. Yeah, they're western. Um, this is a new brand to me. I know what the brand name is, but I can't. It's like Felmini. Felmini. Mm -hmm. They're gonna. They listed. So if you want to know what it is, it's on the internet. Um, but they're really interesting. They're made in Portugal, and they were like near a bunch of other really nice like suede and leather shoes. So I picked them up. I've never heard of them. I haven't either. Um, apparently they were an Anthro brand back in the day. I just listed them as the brand instead of Anthro because like cannot confirm. Um, but they're really nice, and this leather is so soft. And I just think they have like an interesting little like texture with these little perforated moments. Then these are two pairs of shoes that definitely ended up on Bebop. So this is the first pair. It is this pair of '90s looking geometric like wooden platforms promise no i don't promise, promise. <laughs> um, and then this is the other pair so this is actually really funny jack bullied me when i showed him these this is a pair of flip-flops this is like dutch y2k because they have like a little hole in them mm -hmm. they're sketchers they're there's something else. there's something else by sketch <laughs> I didn't know they made that line. Well, I think these are going to do quite good on Bebop. And then I, I think got... I lost the brain seller too from those. Oh, I think I did too. Then I found this really beautiful pair of Doc Martens. So full disclosure, I found these a few weeks ago, but I just got it back, but I haven't had a chance to haul them. So I will do that. So th when I got them, they were missing a tassel. So I took them to my nice new tailor friend who fixed them up for me. And they're absolutely beautiful. These are the Flavilla loafer in a size 10. Oh, so those are very nice. They are super nice. And then I found this really fun little accessory. So this is a vintage tie. It's Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night, if you didn't go through an elementary school art education. It's from 1994, and the brand is Ralph Marlin. I've heard of this brand that is pretty good on eBay because he does a lot of these, like, novelty kind of ties. I have one other one from this dude, and it looks like a fish. It's from 1986. Oh, yeah. Must be like And a... it looks like a fish. Fish. Must be like a gift shop brand. I feel like it's one of those expensive things you buy when you go to like Florida. Yeah. And then I got one little bag. So this is a really pretty orange fossil bag. And I like the color. I think it's super nice for spring. There's a little bit of wear on each of the corners, but nothing too crazy. Um, and I'm glad that it has its little like, it's a little like key fobby thing. Um, and the inside's super clean, which is super nice. And I feel like some of the fossil bags I find nowadays are just the absolute most beat up thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like you never see them in good condition anymore. Which is kind of sad because they're quite nice. Okay, this is my good shoe find. I have everything in dust bags from when I took pictures because I want to keep everything safe. This is a pair of booties. And these looked kind of familiar to me when they got rolled out. I was like, it's Target or it's something nice. Because I think Target, like back in the day, made this kind of style. So I don't know. Oh yeah, you can. 
on the bottom, they're rag and bone. These are called the Harrow Booty. They seem to be pretty common. I think Jack found these. I was just going to say, they should have looked Like a time or two ago. Because, like, maybe two weeks ago in a haul, I showed the exact same ones. If you remember, I had ones where this stud was, like, falling off on the back. Oh, yeah. That was these. Um, These are in really good condition. I just brushed the suede up a little bit so the suede's nice and super soft and it conditioned the little leathery things. These are a 38. Mine were not suede. Oh, yours were leather. Mm -hmm. And then my last pair of shoes is a brand that I typically don't pick up a ton, but I, I just couldn't leave these behind. I think they're so pretty. So these are actually Vince Camugo, which it says in the, you know, it says at the bottom. Um, size six and a half. They're just super nice. And they're just a really pretty, like, tan. I like that heel. Yeah, I know. The heel's really interesting. It's like this fun, kind of like square and they are leather too yeah they're really nice suede That's surprising they are the dantiana suede Dan booty dantania we love reading either way <laughs> it doesn't matter now okay so starting in on the clothes we're kicking it off with a y2k ish item da -da -da -da. so these are athleta wow a lot of like y2k athleta today i'm realizing i saw this like mm -hmm. these are size small and if you can tell, that is quite an older Athleta label, but actually, I really like these. So yeah, these I are think cute. Really good. So these are like, like low rise, and yes, I saw the model picture. They're like low rise, boot cut, boot cut. leggings, and they're actually they're yoga pants. I saw because they're like a really soft like fleece inside, and they're like a thick, really comfortable material. It's but almost like scuba. we were at Target, and they have low rise boot cut leggings now. And Target, Target, if you didn't know, like, if you ever want to do just really quick, easy trend research, go to just go to Target and look in their, like, Wild Fable section especially. Oh. And then look at their, like, universal... The, univer the, the universal thread standard thread, thread or whatever. whatever it is. So I guess let's just keep going with these Y2K items, why don't we? Because I have quite a few. You guys are probably going to, like, just question all my judgment. You're going to be like, because... Jack, I'm not going to listen to you because you've lost your stuff i also found a motorola oh flip phone if, <laughs> what is if this? that puts you in the mindset of where i was this day at the bins a motorola flip phone. so this is vintage and it's it's our time which i have no idea what that is no clue where she's from i've seen the label before but this is literally like i can picture a celebrity in like 2003 they sold these at like walgreens back in the day <laughs> Do you remember that? They were in that, like, bin. But this is, like, that eyelash <laughs> or whatever it's called, knit uh, sweater. Mainly I picked it up because of the colors. This, like, trippy purple-pink combination. Yeah, I can see that. Like, you could picture this being, like, skin tight on some girl, and she has, like... She's, like, no Britney. A flip phone. Yeah. That's kind of how I was thinking it. Maybe, like, a white, like, studded belt. <laughs> pair of low-rise jeans that her parents do not approve of. This is also very Y2K, Oof. and I have never picked up this brand. So, for the first time in my life, I have picked up One World, which kind of pains me. Um, where's One World from? I feel like it's from the buckle. I feel like it used to be back in the day. I'm going to put money on it that it was a buckle brand. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. it I don't know where it ended up, but I it, don't know. <sighs> this is a size small and this is so Y2K. So yeah. this is like a thin the hood. ribbed knit camo hoodie with flared sleeves that are also scalloped. Yeah, this is pretty. And these, like, these little snappy kind of things. Yes, and it's form-fitting, and it's hooded, <laughs> and it has tiny, like, too many tiny little snaps on the front. <laughs> this is just, like, violently Y2K. Yeah, like that's a pretty good one. Weirdly, I was excited to find that, which I would have never Isn't that sad? guessed would happen. <laughs> Isn't everything just crumbling Isn't around? Isn't that just the saddest thing you've ever heard of? Then, back to a little bit more, like, reality. I got this really cute anthro top. I actually found a decent amount of cute anthro in, like, one bin altogether. This is Sundays in Brooklyn, size small. I haven't picked up a Sunday in Brooklyn piece in so long. No. This is a really cute, like, puff sleeve floral, just kind of V top. A little blouse. Pretty basic. It's Obviously, cute. if it ends up not doing well, that's something I can just I can consign. Sign. Then, this is kind of a bolo. It's like an off and on bolo. Some oh, pieces do brand. good, some pieces for me, like, don't. Mm -hmm. It's carbon to cobalt, and I think they only make men's, yes. but I don't know. Size small, and it's a 100% cotton flannel. Just like a classic. It's a good little bread butter Really brand. nice flannel. Mm -hmm. Men's. <laughs> Means. 
And I mean, like these retail for like 98. So it's kind of expensive. Yeah. And then another men's item. This is Bonobos, but it's oh, a line so of Bonobos cool. called Made, which I had never heard of. M-A-I-D-E. I think when hmm. I looked it up, it's like their golf stuff, which would make sense with this. What's Made? Is it like a golf thing? Maybe. Mm. Because if you can see that, there's like golf shoes, golf flags, golf holes, golf it's clubs. Golf. It's a golf ball and a golf yeah. and a tee. Unfortunately, so the print doesn't show up that good in pictures, which is annoying. It's just like too small, yeah. but it's so cute. And this is a size medium. And I just think this is really nice. It smells and like Goodwill. I know it does. <laughs> a lot of this stuff smells like how our Goodwill smell. Okay, so first thing for me, I found a jacket. I'm trying to not find as many jackets, but mm, so this is um, Prairie Underground, which you know it's not my personal style, but I don't care because I'm not the one who's gonna wear it. Somebody's gonna love it and buy it. Um, and it's this really nice little gray jacket. It's actually like pretty substantial. Some of their other pieces I found are like a little bit more thin. This one's actually really this is nice. Nicer. Uh, this is high small, and it does have like the moto like zip thing, so you can like you know, do one of these moments. Um, there was one little spot on one of the sleeves. Oh, here it is. It's really tiny. It's just like, doo -doo. it's not that bad. And neither of us have ever found that label before. No, so this is like, I think an older Perry Underground label. Oh, I would have guessed newer. I honestly have no idea. It says, clothes for independent women made in Seattle. As you guys know, we're both experts at Prairie Underground, so... No. I think they deleted their Poshmark, which is not shocking. They were, um, they were chased out with pitchforks. Yeah, probably. And then it has this little, like, button thing that I don't... Independent Women of Seattle, what do you use the button thing for? I don't quite know. So, um, the comps for that were, like, shockingly really expensive, so I threw it up for, like, I think 130 which I think is a lot. But, I don't know, I've been surprised by Party on the Ground before, so we'll see what happens. This, Jack actually left early this trip, because he just wasn't doing super good, and I was like, I'm gonna stay. Yeah, this is actually two trips put together, and that's only because one day I got three items. That's it, wasn't, it. it wasn't very good. I was there for, like two at least hours and mm -hmm. had three things. And I was like, I am just wasting my time. Yeah, so I stayed a little bit longer and some of this stuff came from that last um, switch out that I was there by myself. This was one of them. So this is just H&M, which I typically don't pick up a ton to sell myself, but if it's like cuter and newer, I'll take it to the consignment store. But these, I absolutely will pick up for myself. It's the H&M like pleather jacket. These were so popular during the fall. And I think they still are. So I snatched this one. And if it doesn't sell in the next couple weeks, I will take it to Plano. And I'm sure they'll be popular next fall. Again. Oh, yeah. Easy. Um, so this is a really pretty little dress. It's perfect for the season. This is another brand that I don't like to sell myself all the time. It's Zara. Woman. Size medium. And it just has this really pretty kind of like one of these kind of oh, collars. Weird, like collar even. Hmm. One of those little moments. And then it has these nice little... Like puffy sleeves on it, which is super cute. And then the one thing I noticed that when I got it out of the dryer is there's one teensy weensy eensy little tiny hole right here. And I think like an inch of the bottom hem is kind of like, come on done, but like you can't know. It's one of those like side slit maxis. So like nobody's going to know. That's a really pretty color. It is really cute. I think it's nice for the fall. And the Creamsicle. Winter, for the fall and the winter. For the spring and the summer. So Jack threw this to me, very much you can. Um, this is shockingly a vintage free people tag, size large. That's the oldest free people tag. Do not tell them that I threw this. I don't want to be affiliated with this. Um, and it's this really pretty little purple baby doll tank top. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but in this bottom section, it's this really pretty, like, oh yeah, there it is. This really pretty, like, knit pattern. Pretty Which is super yeah. nice. So that is going to go up on Bebop. This says large, but like... Okay, so I'll do one more. So these, Little Miss Sue, throw to me, thank you so much, Sue. They are M.M. Lafleur size medium, which I've only ever found M.M. Lafleur a few times, let alone in the bands. I think this is the first time. These are the... Oh, I, oh, I listed these like the other day, and I knew the name of the dress pant, and now I don't. But it's this really nice, just little tapered, um, long dress pant. They have like the little side zippy thing and then this little back doodad. Very nice. And they were still on the website for like $245. Wow. <laughs> Anytime I've had MM Lafour, it actually does. It gets good. a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. It 
doesn't seem like it would for some reason, but like it does do pretty good. For those new trendy office girlies. So this is another Y2K item. So as per usual with my Y2K, I don't know this brand and I don't know like what time frame it's from. I don't know what store it was sold at, but it's a large. And this is a super adorable, like triangle angular cut knit tank top. And it's large, so it's supposed to be quite like kind of form fitting. I like how deep the V is. Yes, I do too. Mm -hmm. And this knit is really nice. Like it it's feels like almost St. John esque. Mm -hmm. It has a teeny little spot up at the front right there that is not that big of a deal. This photographed like a freaking dream. Love so that. it must just be black and white that like can, it just like showed up so well. Like, it was this, fantastic. I think I know what this is. This, I knew what it was when it was in the bin wrapped up cause I've had it like twice at least. I donated one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maeve, which of course is anthro, size small. And this is the like micro floral button up blouse. I've had this, I think, twice. It's kind of cute. And it's another one of those things where, like, okay, say it doesn't do well for me. Like, any it's consignment store would take that. Mm -hmm. This was in the same bin. This is really and cute. this is Anthro as well. It is Meadow Rue, size small. Meadows Rue. And I think that this is a really pretty print. It's oh, like paisley and floral. And then it has really cute, like, vines kind of as the lace up there. Yeah. Perfect for the season. Mm hmm. Same situation as the other anthros. Then we have another anthro. This is probably my favorite of the ones I found. This is Feather and Bone by Anthro. I love Feather and Bone. They, they make really stuff. pretty stuff. And this is a size small. And this is this like ruffly sheer. Oh, and no, cute. it does not have a slip. It wasn't even supposed to. You just wear it over like a tank top. But like super bell sleeve. It feels Ooh. like silk, but it's viscose. It's really cute. And it's just really pretty. I, I like really these like it. purple flowers. I feel like you don't see too much like purple floral. Yeah, I know. It's when great. this color With, like, the green. is pretty, yeah, mm -hmm. unique. Then another Y2K item, Love. but it is like a brand that some people like to grab. It's Nanette Lapour, size six, Nanette and it's kind of like an intimate style. It's a little baby doll tank top. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it is. I believe it's silk. I think the label's cut out, but I think vintage Nanette Lapour usually would use silk. Um, or can you just? Um, oh, she's old. 100% silk. Yep. Lining, 100% acetate. So it's cute. It is really cute. I mainly got it because it's like Y2K. I don't, I probably wouldn't have otherwise. Same with this. Even though, I mean, I do like the print on this. Yeah, I would have So this, this is, like I said, this haul's funky. It's fun. Bear with, this is very different, I feel like, compared to normal. This is a brand called Voom. 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 By Joy Han. Made in the USA. Hmm. And this is a brand that, like, back in the beginning days of Revolve, was, like, sold on Revolve. I love that. Like, this is an old, expensive brand. It's and really pretty. Though. I really, I think, what caught my attention, obviously, was, like, the cat. Cat. It's cute. This is also silk, but it's, like, a Y2K style by how it has the strappy front. And, and then the back. Thick black brim under the bust. Yeah, and then the back, like, has a strap that goes across. But fun fact... Paris Hilton, way back in the Y2K days, wore this exact same style by this exact same brand with a different print, but still. I was like, that's a benefit. And then... Oh my god, is this that? <gasps> this was really confusing. This is fun. <laughs> so this, I was like, okay. Can you guess what style it is? I was like, this has to be leg and look. It's 100% wool. I could just tell right away. And it's just like, weird. So first up... Yeah. It's like camo, which you can kind of tell there, but like the knit is camo. It's not like printed. No, it's I don't different know. kinds of thinner and more dense knit. It's I don't know weird. how they did that, but it's kind of which cool. then also made me think like, okay, it's got to be good. Like that's not easy. You can't just like throw that together. Shan's not gonna have like a knit camo like that. <laughs> Size small, and it's made in the USA. So I was like, okay has to be something. Because everything what lag and look is like, they make five of them. And so I read this, and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> C-R, possibly a U, S, C, N, O. I was like, nothing makes Who? any sense. And so I posted it onto my story on Instagram. I'm like, does anyone know this brand? I'm pretty sure it's lag and look. And some genius. <laughs> it's genius, actually kind of funny was like, well, I saw this dot, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it's a period. So I turned my phone over, and it says Susan's. Susan's! 
which is like a thing. And I was like, <laughs> but bless her, because now I know what it is. Yeah. It is a pretty expensive leg and look brand. There's not much of it. There's not many comps. I also love these like square buttons. They do have good buttons. But I think it's pretty cute. Or it's like pretty interesting. Like I, it's weird, but like, it's not my like least favorite leg. And look no, I like, I don't hate it. I think it's kind of cute. I, it's probably a tunic because like, Leg and look dresses are usually max. They don't make shirts. So they just, I don't think they, they make mini dresses. The shortest length is tunic. Yeah. So I found, except for me, is this cute little bralette. It is a three people intimately little one of these bralettes. Size extra small, small. These are just like easy $10, $15. You know, like nothing crazy. Then in that last switch out, I did find a pajama set. It is a pair of J. Crew pajamas. So the pants are size small. And this is like, they're, it's like blush pink or like blushed pink or blushed rose, something tart. Blushed pink or blushed pink. Yeah. And then it has this cute little like metallic detail in that. And I was excited when I found the one. And then I was even more excited when I found the shop. So that's nice. And then, it's either blush pink or, or blush, blush pink. pink. Yeah. And then I found a Mac Miller t shirt who I absolutely love. I love this album. Swimming. So good. This is from 2018, his final concert. Because he unfortunately passed away in September of that year, which is really sad. But it has all the um, album art on it, which is super fun. So, and I think the Mac Miller people love the Mac Miller stuff because they don't make any of it anymore. So one time I found a Mac Miller. And like little Yachty or like some other like rapper t-shirt and it sold for $75 and it went back to the city that the bins were in. And I have the <laughs> hypothesis of some mom donated her son's like prize band t-shirt and then she had to scour the internet to find it again. Yeah, that's funny. So this is interesting. It's a swimsuit, but it's like you cross it over kind of a thing. Like you loop it and then put it on like that way. And then like here's for the, the girls. You know what I mean? It's complicated. It's Urban Outfitters. Out from under. And I love this print. This is a very Y2K, a very coconut girl. I can start saying coconut girl again. I um, they print. went extinct. Coconut girls? I don't think they did. I think they're still here. This is a new brand to me. It's a men's brand. And I looked it up and it was on Ukes, which is like kind of an expensive, like kind of a new designery website. Um, It's MNML, minimal. And it's just a pair of gray shorts. Like, super nice little men's jean shorts. Uh, size 28. And this brand looks pretty... I like that length. Yeah, the little, like... So then I found two pairs of jeans in the last switch out that Jack wasn't there for. Uh, so the first pair was this pair of Madewell jeans. These are the 10-inch high-rise skinny. Size 26. And they have this really cute little, like, exposed button detail. And, like, the distressing on the ankle. It's called the chewed hem. Which I think is super fun. I like that. And then I was actually really excited to find these. So I really don't find this brand much anymore. I used to like every now and again come across it, but it's Good American. These are size 26, the good legs. And these are just a really nice little pair of like blue Rahim skinny jeans from Khloe Kardashian. I just realized sitting next to you watching you haul is like watching you haul, but in 3D. Everything, your fingers like come like flailing at me. The items are like- <laughs> They're zooming everywhere. It's like everywhere. very like- <laughs> It's scary. It's like Spy Kids in 3D. I love Spy Kids. <laughs> What's this? Next up for me is this little Soul Angeles, Soul oh, Angeles cute. Anthropology Love shirt. Love. I really like the colors of the sleeves and trim on that. And that was the size medium. Love. And then one last, nope, not one last anthro, just another oh, anthro. This is size medium and this is Porridge by Anthro. And usually, surprisingly, Porridge does like pretty good for some reason. I really How love the this? colors of this. Yeah. And then I like that it has that like peplum detail at the bottom. That's really cute. So that is also a size medium. And I suppose I'll just do more anthro. Did you get a lot? This is super soft. This is Moth by Anthropology, And I'm fairly certain this is a remake of a sweater they used to make. Mm -hmm. It's extra small. And it's this like cowl neck plush. Like I love this Golden, color. yeah, sweater. It's really soft. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't look as soft as it is. And then another anthro. This is Sleeping on Snow by Anthro. Anthropology. Somewhere in here. Doesn't say there's a tag. So it's newer because it says the by Anthro. And this is an extra small, but with this piece, I don't think it really matters. It's like a coat. 
it's like an open long knit plush sweater and this is very much what i would consider like a teacher sweater oh yeah it's a teacher cardigan the, yeah the, the big pockets the woman in the model picture literally just looks like she's about to go tell kids what to do love and what not to do next up is smart wool and this is extra small smart wool and this is just like a full zip vest that's really nice with what's his name uh mr bones no isn't that his name? No. It's something head. Was it not head? Knit head? Wool head? Oh my gosh, why can't I remember it? I'm so mad, I can't remember it. It was like life changing when I learned what it was and now I can't remember what it is. I don't know how we can't figure out what this we'll is. We'll have to like do head. some more digging. I know it's something head. Like, I remember that. <laughs> then, this is one of the three things I got that other day. <laughs> This is Patagonia, and it's sized large women's, which would be super, super exciting, mm -hmm. except, of course, it has a logo from a company on it, and that's Winthrop, which sounds really familiar, but I don't mm. know what it is. But it's a really good, nice it's jacket nice. in really good shape, so I'm sure it'll still do good. Yuchi Patagonia stuff with logos still does fine. Yeah. Then we have a Lululemon. These are really nice. And these are super nice. They're like really... This is a material from them that I really like haven't found. Is this the full-on look stream? It's like very soft and almost like swim-esque. It's really stretchy. But yeah, these are size 8. And I do know the name. Not in my head, but on my Poshmark I know the name. And then these are my two favorite things by far that I found either of these days. So first up is a new cursive label J. Crew piece and it's size 8. And this is a houndstooth extremely high quality wool blazer. And I have completely rekindled my love for J. Crew blazers. I used to like be obsessed with them. And there was like a little while where mm -hmm. I was like, they don't do good anymore. And now I love them again. They're so nice. And this is from 2018. Hmm. But it like seems like new. Oh yeah. And I love this pop of red under the collar. Oh cute. It's kind of just an interesting detail. And my favorite item. This is so nice. Is another blazer, once again by J. Crew, and it's the Park Blazer, which actually that other one was the Park Blazer as well. This is a size 10. And this is a velvet pink How cute blazer. Is it is so adorable. It's also such nice condition. And both mm -hmm. of these had Goodwill tags on them for only $10. I would have literally And I ask $10. all the people that skipped these, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why, Why did you do that? This one is also like really rare and has been worn by a ton of bloggers and J.Crew has really good model pictures for it. And it retailed at like $300. Their blazers aren't cheap. And it's so nice. I'm so excited to find it. <laughs> okay, so for my last couple of things, not as nice, Athleta Bra. Brr. What's that size? Size, medium. I think it's the energy. That's a nice bra, though. Bra. It has the, like... I like the zipper. I'm not gonna unzip it. It has, like, the zip thing. This is going on Beep Bop. It's Billabong, but these little... Billabong. Billabong. These little, like, crochet tops always do super good for me. Um, Really nice little crochet tank top, and this is newer Billabong, size medium. But these will do good. They do quite good. And they literally weigh nothing. And then the last thing I got is this really fun vintage sweatshirt. And I knew that I recognized this logo from somewhere. And through my Googling, I was like, <laughs> oh, it's Coca-Cola. Wow. So this is a vintage 1980s Arabic, I think it's Arabic, Coca-Cola sweatshirt. That's fun. I know at World of Coke, they sell yeah, modern. They have like. In a bunch of different languages. I mm -hmm. think I had gotten like a Japanese one when I was there. It was really yeah. cool. Yeah. And that's it. Yes, goodbye. That's all that we have for you guys today. That's I hope fun. that you enjoyed this haul. I know it was like a little bit different than they normally are content wise because like usually we're not so heavy on the Y2K. Yeah. And I like the lag and like it was very, just very different all around. But I guess mm -hmm. it's just what the bins hand you. It yeah. is what you get. That's okay. So let us know what you thought about this type of like different stuff in a haul. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, we will see you guys on Saturday for a normal, regular What Sold Saturday. And then I do not know yet what we're doing next week. We'll probably do a haul and then something Well, else. yeah, a haul and something else. So actually, if you want, let us know what you want to see. TV. And we can decide from there what we're going to do. So we will see you on Saturday. Bye. Bye.